let's jump right into it with word number one. You. You is the most important, most effective, most persuasive, most powerful word in your copywriting arsenal. Let me explain why. Let's imagine you went out to eat with a group of friends. You ask a stranger to take your picture. They take your picture with your iPhone, turn it around, and you look at that group picture. Now let me ask you, who is the first person you look for in that group photo? I would bet you a million dollars every single time you're going to look for yourself. It's just human nature. As you write to your audience, they're going to be looking for themselves in your copy. That is why you need to be writing with the word you as much as possible. You want to put your audience in the driver's seat. You want to make your copy about them. And that's why the first point here is let the reader know how the product or service is going to benefit them by using words like you and your. This is contrary to what you may feel like you need to do. You may feel like you need to write all about your product or all about your service or all about yourself, but this is counterintuitive. That's not the way your audience or your reader is going to be thinking. They're going to be asking themselves, what's in this for me? It doesn't matter what you're communicating, what you're selling, or what you're writing about. They're always going to ask themselves that question and you need to let them know what's in it for them by using the word you and your. This is going to help you tailor your copy to your customer, to your audience, to the end user every single time. The second important reason for using the word you is that using the word you makes it personal. It's all about making it personal when you write your copy. Your customer, your audience, they're going to be looking in your copy, in your sales letters, whatever you're writing, they're going to be looking in it to see if you see them. They want to be seen. They don't want to be talked to as in one in a million customers. They want to be the only one. So that's why using a word like you helps them see themselves in it. It puts them in the driver's seat and it makes them the spotlight. Let's look at an actual example of how Apple does this. They have a website and a web page that's all about their Apple TV. And they could talk about the amazing technology it has, the amazing software it runs, how much space it has, how much it can do. But they don't. And they don't talk about how great of a company they are and about how they're worth a trillion dollars now. What they do is they write about how they can improve your life with their product. It's all about you. And so let's look exactly how many times in this one piece of marketing copy they use the word you. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Five different times they use the word you. They anchor this marketing copy with the word you. It's about the Apple TV app, but it's really not. It's about you and how you can use their product and how you can use it and experience a better TV viewing experience. So let's read it together here. Apple TV app, everything you watch, all in one place. The Apple TV app lets you browse content from over 60 video services without switching from one app to the next. You'll find movies and shows, handpicked recommendations, and live sports. The Apple TV app is already on iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV, so you can watch at home or wherever you go. You see, this entire bit of marketing copy here is all about you. They want you to imagine yourself using this product, using this software, using this app. And that's exactly how they wrote this copy.